What is up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Where I ended the last video is actually where I will be starting today's. It is technically the same day as the last video. I will actually show you guys a little bit of what I will be doing to the Miata to get it prepped just before I take it to my friend Hamlet's house so that he can go ahead and start wrapping it. Uh, so first things first, obviously the car has a lot of things that need to be done to it. So we got some uh, primer here to go ahead and uh, stop the bare metal from rusting. We did have a bit of some paint chipping here, so we had to go ahead and get that bondoed as well. We do have some bondo here also, and then the last little part is what I have to do right now is go ahead and kind of just clear up all of this clear coat that is peeling off on the right fender. That way we give my boy Hamlet a nice and clean surface for the Miata to go ahead and get wrapped. thing I need to do is actually go ahead and get the new hood onto this uh, because it, I don't know if you guys can see that but this hood actually has some ripples from the uh, car show that I went to over the summer known as Race Wars. I also released a video on that so if you guys don't know what happened go ahead and check that out find out how I got those ripples on the Miata but basically we're gonna be replacing the hood as well so that way we can go ahead and have like a nice front end I might even also end up taking off the bumper and I don't know maybe take it to him so you can go ahead and wrap it there as well um, but for the most part the hood needs to go ahead and get swapped out the fender needs to go ahead and get sanded and then and then we'll see what else I have time for so let's get started Okay, so first thing we want to do is the hood is going to go ahead and remain on, but I do want to just add a little bit of protection so that I don't end up messing up a little bit more than what I have to in terms of sanding. So I pop the hood open right now, and basically I'm just going to go ahead and outline the hood right here with some tape. That way I can go ahead and close it, we don't get any dust into the engine bay, and we can move on from there. Trusty dandy sander um, and got a 50 disc assorted pack. So they didn't exactly have the one that I wanted, so I ended up just getting a pack and we're just gonna find the one that I need right now. Hello Groot. Hello Groot. Hello. Hello pups. So this video is consisting of multiple days. Um, finished up some of the sanding yesterday and I just got really kind of like overwhelmed with how much I was doing. Um, the camera also actually ended up shutting off because once again, my battery died. But we are fully charged today, um, and this is the state that the Miata is currently in right now. Hamlet was able to go ahead and wrap the front end, um, but we are still um, in need of some bodywork on the rear. I still have the hard top to go ahead and put on, um, but as of right now, what I actually wanna do is go ahead and uh, get some paint because I do have a heat shield for the exhaust manifold on the car that I want to go ahead and put on so that way we can keep some, at least some heat away from the actual intake manifold, or not the intake, the, um, the air filter. I'm gonna head over to O'Reilly right now. She is drivable, she's looking kinda ugly, but the color is very nice. As you guys can see, it's pop, it pops uh, quite a bit. Funny enough, we actually did run into a bit of a problem. Um, the sample wrap that I had actually originally ordered was actually pretty different from the one that is currently on the car. So I don't know if it was just like, a, uh, a production issue if they just like didn't produce it properly the first time or what exactly actually happened but point is I sent an email to kind of let them know like hey the sample looks a lot different from the rest of the wrap that I ordered because this last order I ordered all of it I ordered all like 
I think what was needed for the Miata was like 5 by 30 feet and so I ordered all of it, the, all the wrap that I needed to go ahead and finish up the Miata. I ran into the issue that obviously I had one fender done so I was going to leave that one alone so the rest of the wrap that I ordered was for the rest of the car and the hardtop um, but now we had to rewrap that fender in order for the colors to match up so we're not too sure right now if we're going to have enough wrap for the hardtop. The last one it was really really gray. I'll actually try to go ahead and insert a picture right here um, so that way you guys can actually see the difference. You guys can actually see that the top one is a lot more vibrant than the one on the bottom which was the original one that I got it's kind of annoying uh, to get a sample and kind of you know expect one thing and then get this one really love the vibrant color but I my mind and heart were kind of set on the other one because it was a slightly darker gray kind of look like a Nardo gray as opposed to just like a full-on rainbow but I really really like how this turned out and I can't wait to see what it looks like once everything is pieced together just want to show you guys really quick because I did actually like I wouldn't say test but I did see this yesterday um, so the car looks extremely nice when the lights are on um, and by lights for those of you guys who don't know I do have uh, a LEDs for the Miata that are actually from a Jeep um, and they have halos and I just feel like it just looks so sick oh, it's gorgeous dude once everything's done once I have the bumper back on and the lip and the side skirts and everything it should look extremely good all right sweet so we got the uh we got the paint time to go get it done nothing special it's just a nice black finish it's actually been sitting out here drying for quite a while so now that it's all black we don't have to worry about it rusting or anything so we'll go ahead and put this back on to the car this will be the first time that the 1.8 in my possession has a heat shield and uh, this paint is rated for like 700 degrees so we should be good to go but obviously we need to do some work in order to be able to go ahead and put it down there so i think i might just have to take off my air box hopefully i don't really do not want to have to take apart the strut bar but nonetheless let's get started So something I also did was uh, I actually also painted the fasteners because they were originally silver. I just feel like they'll look better on the cover if they were black. So painted them a little bit. That way there's not too much contrast on the inside. All right, so the air box is now out air box is out as well as the intake tube so we now have access to the exhaust manifold all right so upon uh, trying to put on the exhaust manifold turns out that's not for the Miata I have no idea what the heck this exhaust manifold is for, but it does not fit on the Miata. R.I.P. Well, <laughs> since the, uh, obviously the heat shield didn't work, I don't know why I didn't check it before. I honestly, like, kind of thought about it, and I was like, why else would I have a heat shield if it wasn't for the Miata, but whatever. We can't do that, so I'm just going to go ahead and take care of the other maintenance, which is basically the valve cover gasket, the PCV valve, and the two serpentine belts. So let's get that started.
So the mating surface where the valve cover gasket goes on is now all clean and wiped up. So we can now start putting the new valve cover gasket on to the valve cover and we should be good to go. Things like stuck in here, so I have to do it the barbaric way. Well, there she is, old and brittle. So it was definitely time to replace this guy. So after some time wrenching away on the Miata, all of the belts are now in. The new PCV valve is in, but I do need new hoses. I will be running this guy instead of this hose, so now I just need to go ahead and take off that bracket and then block off over here on the intake. Um, on the intake hose where this line would connect to, I now need to go ahead and block that off. All right, you guys, so here she is. This is the state of the Miata right now. Everything's all good. Already turned it on, made sure everything was running properly. Um, right now, I have one last thing to do, and that's gonna be bleeding the brakes. So, jacking the car up right now, I'm gonna bleed the brakes, and then that should be it. I think this is where I'm actually gonna end up calling the video though, because I don't really wanna film me bleeding brakes. It's kinda boring. So, if you guys have any questions or anything about anything that was done today, Please go ahead and drop a comment. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe. Remember to follow me on social media. And last but not least, remember to stay up, stay tuned, and peace out, guys. Till next time.